All right, now time for Thrifty Thursday. This week we are getting you ready for tomorrow, St. Patrick's Day. Here are a few ways to get into the spirit of the Irish with things that you probably already have around the house. First, we'll start with the kids. You can visit theclassymommy.com and search St. Patrick's Day prints for a list of leprechaun printouts for your kids to color. For a fun St. Patrick's Day craft, you don't even need to go to the craft store. Grab some white computer paper, Fruit Loops, cotton balls, and glue. Glue the cotton balls to the paper in the shape of a cloud. Then separate the Fruit Loops by color. Make a rainbow with the cereal, gluing each Fruit Loop to the piece of paper. Soon you'll have a St. Patrick's Day masterpiece. Anyone can enjoy this treat. Make golden coins out of Oreos. Pick up some gold food coloring spray from the baking section at the grocery store and then spray away. And this one's for the adults. You don't have to go out and buy green beer. This year, you can make it all on your own. All you need is a few drops of green food coloring in your pint glass, then pour in your favorite beer. Remember to tilt the pint glass to avoid the foam. And of course, always remember to drink responsibly. All and, right. Hold on, and hold beer. on. What? You said tilt the pint to avoid. That was a professional tip. Everyone knows that. <laughs> okay. Now, I just want to say, of course, you can turn any light drink into something green. It doesn't just have to be beer, but of course, that seems to be the beverage of choice on St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it does. Especially that it's falling on a Friday this year. I know. <laughs> and Michigan State plays, so all oh, the more no. reason to wear green tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I need to drink a blue beer. No. Because Michigan's playing no. tomorrow. But they're not playing each other, so it's totally cool. The okay, one day of the year that you can support <laughs> state. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. I can yeah. do it. All right. 